Well, welcome to another edition of Short Updates with Nick Long. Mayor Long, thanks for joining us. Absolutely, thanks for having me. So we have a couple topics today. Uh, first, the legislative session is over. Uh, can you tell us about some of the things that uh, that are kind of in League City's favor that are affecting us that came out of the session? Yeah, absolutely. There's still a couple things up in the air with, uh, with property tax reform, but one of the biggest things that, that the city got out of this is that we worked with Senator Mays Middleton's office and Representative Bonin's office, and they helped push through a, a bill or a provision inside of a bill that will allow League City to develop some city-owned land. Uh, in particular, the project that we're looking at would be on top of the, the sportsplex uh, now. And so this bill would essentially give a portion of the state sales tax and the state's uh, liquor tax back to the city to help build out that project. And we went out to bid several months ago, uh, really over a year ago, mm -hmm. and received bids back and some options. And uh, about a month ago, we uh, entered into a contract with a uh, consulting firm and a developer to really lay out the parameters of this project because the state's bill has a variety of different things that they wanna see in it and requirements. And you know, if everything turns out great, what we're looking at is about a billion to uh, a billion two in total investment on top of that land, uh, which would then bring in a variety of uh, hotels mm -hmm. and restaurants and shopping. It would also put in a convention center, an arena, a variety of other amenities, and then move the sportsplex to a different location. And so none of the project would move or none of the dirt would get turned until the new sportsplex which would have to be at least as big as the one we have i know now. a lot of people would be concerned about that Absolutely. you and you too because you have kids that play baseball i spend so. a whole lot of time <laughs> at the sportsplex i think i got probably about 14 hours of sportsplex in this weekend yeah and both my kid boys so uh it would it would replicate that and we keep the same city amenities but then have the ability to put this massive amount of investment uh, into the city and and bring a lot more kind of amenities and opportunities to uh, to spend our money here in League City. Now it's in the very early stages at this point in time. Yeah, extremely early stages. And so really what we've entered into right now is a consulting agreement in which the uh, developers and the consultants will take a look at all the different pieces of it. So it assesses the cost of rebuilding the sportsplex. It assesses you know what needs to be built and where and how to structure this. It brings in other nonprofit and community partners uh, that would be located at the same facility and assesses their needs. It looks at the overall market. Mm -hmm. It's an extremely extensive study. Uh, of course, traffic and flooding is addressed in that as well. So we're really they're just starting it. Yeah. The, the effective date was June first. It's going to take every bit of. Uh, five or six months yeah. to complete that study. And then once that comes back, we would assume kind of early first quarter of next year, we'll then take the time to, to look over the various options. There'll probably be a, some further study from there. And really maybe about this time next year, we'll have really some more details on it. And that's when we would start talking about specifics of the project. Right, right. Um, and so nothing would ever happen to the sportsplex or nothing would change at the sportsplex at, at really at all anytime soon. I mean, we're looking a year away to see if this kind of all works out. Yeah, and so even if, if you take the most ideal timeline, right, we're talking this time next year before we really understand what's going to be put there, then take some further development, then it takes land acquisition for the new sportsplex. Yeah. Then it takes building that whole thing yeah. out. So ye years. Years. <laughs> and then after all that is done, then we would uh, move forward with the project. So probably, you know, three years on an ideal time frame before you ever see dirt actually turned at the sportsplex. So uh, speaking of the sportsplex and spending a lot of time with your kids there, uh, how is that going so far? You've been mayor for what, almost eight or nine months. How is the transition going from council mem member to mayor? Yeah, it's been it's been great. Uh, you know, certainly uh, it's 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 a lot different than when you're on council. Yeah. You know, when you're on council, uh, I think you have a lot of opportunity to to look for your own little narrow issues, and and you're and you spend a lot of time focusing on things that are real close to you. And when you're when you're on when you're the mayor, obviously you have to take a, a much broader mm -hmm. 
uh, look at everything that's happening. There's a lot more just requirements in, in a variety of different senses. You know, one sense you're you're kind of the mascot or the. Or the I chief know everyone curator. expects you to be everywhere at all times, <laughs> and they don't realize like, hey, he has a job too. Like he, the the, the mayor's not your full time job. Uh, no, mayor is not a uh, not a, a paying, paying gig. It's uh, not a paying gig uh, in yeah, League yeah. City. No, not at all. So, uh, yeah, there is a lot of uh, just different events and things you have to go to and, and act as that cheerleader mascot role. And then also just, uh, you know, the greater political sense of it, mm -hmm. you know, being out there and leading not only our kind of our legislative agenda, uh, but then also interacting with the other the other government entities that we interact with mm -hmm. all the time, whether that's the county or the state or just the other cities and how we're going to partner with them and and how we can, uh, you know, address things like flooding and traffic, yeah. which are regional issues and, and certainly not confined just to League City. So one of the, I know you've said this before, one of the most important roles of council and mayor is getting involved in the budget process, which we're in the midst of right now. It's June, but July is when everything really starts happening with you guys. Tell me tell me a little bit of what you're going to be looking for and, and how you think this is going to work. Absolutely. I think it's it's the most important thing that we do. And it really, we probably go overboard in League City compared to a lot of the other uh, public entities out there, but our, our process is extremely thorough. And I think because the process is so thorough, it sets the tone for the rest of the mm -hmm. year. And we have a lot of these workshops and we're breaking up the different departments and we're going through everything. We're going through uh, the capital projects one by one by one. And we do a lot of work on the front side of that, but because we do so much of that work on the front side, then later on in the year, it's a lot easier. Yeah. It's not necessary to explain every project to us again because we understood because you studied it and know it, it was already coming back and yeah. it was in the budget so those meetings will start kind of in earnest uh really next couple of weeks yeah. and we'll sit in there and start doing that and i encourage citizens uh to attend those meetings particularly if there's particular topics that that are interest that of interest to you so we break it up you know one day might be all public safety the next uh, meeting might be all kind of arts, cultural, park stuff. Yeah. And we keep it to those meetings, uh, and, and it really gives you an opportunity that if there's a particular area that interests you, to dive in there and sit in and hear those things. And those are more important than any of the council meetings, and really it sets the course for not only this year, but but you know, three and five years to come from that. And there's a public comment section during those workshops uh, with council. Absolutely. So we, we uh, they start in mid-July. I believe the first one is July 19th. We have a full schedule on the website, leaguecity.com. Um, and then, of course, yes, members of the public are invited. You're, you can even give comments. Usually we kind of wait till the end of the workshop so folks can give their comments Absolutely. at the end. Um, and you grill us. I mean, I got to be honest. I mean, I every department goes before council and we explain our budget and we answer questions and we really have to defend if we have something new in our budget or, or a charter, you know, at a dollar amount that doesn't look right. Mm -hmm. So that that's your job. <laughs> Excellent. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's probably the part of the time where we really get to, to dive in most with the uh, with the department heads mm -hmm. and really walk through that stuff and really looking forward to that opportunity and kind of the preliminary numbers that we've seen I think are all real positive our sales tax is is doing better than expected and it's the highest it's ever been and you know John Baumgartner the city manager and executive staff has been tasked really with with one big goal and that is to bring in the budget uh, at the no new revenue rate so that is making sure taxes don't go up. Obviously, appraisals have gone up, so we'll need to reduce the tax rate. And so we will be looking for, I think it's the 10th or 11th straight I, I year. I think it'll the be decrease. the 11th straight year, If yeah. And I think the 11th straight year with the tax decrease, I think we're, we're there. It's, it's looking great to do that again. And I, I believe we'll once again be able to invest more in the capital projects than we ever have before. So. In the last 10 years, it's been tax decreases and pushing the envelope on the projects and pushing more projects through. So we'll be able to continue that trend, investing more in infrastructure and decreasing taxes at the same time. 
So it's budget season, League City. We want you to get involved. Go to LeagueCity.com for a list of the public workshops uh, that you can attend and other ways you can get involved. And as always, if you have a question for Mayor Long or a topic you want to discuss or an idea for the budget, uh, you can email them. Absolutely. My email's on the on the city website and my personal cell phone number's on yes. the city website. Yes. So both of those are there. They go directly to me and uh, glad to hear from anybody if you have issues or have something that you think needs to be discussed in the budget or potential project, uh, please bring those to our attention. Thanks again, Mayor Long, for joining us. And uh, we look forward for another time next month for a short update. Thank you.